Richmond, Virginia. A success story of the booming US economy under Trump. Long gone are the days that big tobacco was synonymous for Richmond's economic prowess. The economic strength of the state's capital is in banking, finance and biotechnology now. But Richmond's success is in stark contrast to other parts of Virginia. This is Roanoke, southwest of Richmond in the Blue Ridge Mountains of the Appalachian region. The old railroad town and transportation hub is home to 300,000 residents. Dwayne Yancey is editorial page editor at the Roanoke Times and reports on the region's economic woes. The, the number one industry in Roanoke now is health care. Uh, you know, the big employer years ago used to be the railroad, now it's a hospital chain. The further west you go out of Roanoke into more rural areas, um, the less fortunate the economy will be. Welcome to Bristol, Virginia, the birthplace of country music, literally. 17,000 residents live on the Virginia side of town, 26,000 more in the part that is in Tennessee. The state line goes right through town in the middle of Bristol's Stage Street. City manager Randall Eads, just about a year in the job, is taking us on a city tour in his golf cart. Bristol has a poverty rate of 23.6%. The town just lost another major employer. A total of 470 people will soon be out of a job. What was once the local go-to shopping mall is no more. That's reality in Bristol, despite Trumponomics, record job growth and tax reform. The economy is more complex than just one party being in control or one president being in control. People will say that uh, Mr. Trump is uh, the one who has made the economy boom right now. Others will say that it was because of President Obama. I don't think either one can necessarily take credit. There is hope. A Chinese company bought American Merchant and will start textile production in Bristol soon. That's a few hundred new jobs desperately needed. A local private investor group wants to invest. They want to build a casino resort here. That is thinking big and outside the box, says city manager Randy. And that is a must for Bristol in this positive economic climate because... You know, worst case scenario is we have a situation where the national economy takes a dip and we go into a recession or a depression. Um, Bristol will feel the brunt of that at some point. And when that happens, if we continue to lose businesses, if people uh, fail to spend, then Bristol will have a true headache on our hands. Despite the current strong national economy, people here need more investors and businesses betting on Bristol.